Hey there, in this video we are going to see how to use a smaller grid and move it around a bigger terrain. By default, terrain grid system asset creates grids that cover the entire terrain or mesh. This is because it uses a scale of 1 in both, in both axes, as you can see here. But in this case, we, because we want more uh, cells, and uh, also we want to um, uh, produce uh, too many cells that won't be visible so in our game, we are using a smaller grid size for the cells. So in this case, what we want to ensure is that if I move the grid around, for instance to the right, I want to make sure that this cell ends in the appropriate position when I shift the grid to the right. How do you do that? Well, if you run the demo sim, there is uh, an example of two important methods in the asset. The first method is invoked uh, by pressing the G key in this example. We will see that later in the code. But if I move my character around, let's say I want to move the grid to the left and just pressing the G key will shift the grid to the left, ensuring that there is always a grid under the character. But as you can notice, the grid will respect the underlying uh, layout of the cells. The cells will always reuse the appropriate positions. And similarly, if you press the C key, you can see another example of another interesting method, and this is called snap to the center of the cell. In this case, it seems like the terrain is moving, but it is not. It's the character which is snapping to the center of the nearest cell. Um, because the camera is always looking to the character, it seems like the terrain is moving, but it's not really. In practice, the, it's the king object which is moving to that uh, position. So, well, how do you call the reposition method from your code? Um, well, just go to the sample script here in the demo scene. And uh, you can see we have uh, an, uh, in our update method, if you press the G key to call reposition grid, which is this UTG method, we just call the terrain grid system asset set grid center walls position method. And th this method receives two parameters. The first one is the world position for the center of the new grid and uh, snap to grid, this is very important to pass through, so you um, ensure that the new grid will respect the underlying layout. And that's it. Just um, call this method when you need it. Uh, for instance, if you want to move the, the grid uh, to the right, to the left, just pass the center of the, of the new grid position and uh, the true as the second parameter. And the grid will automatically um, snap to the um, to the appropriate position uh, over there. And the second method is an app to cell center, which is for uh, moving game objects or placing game objects to the center um, of the cell. It's called snap to center. If we, and this method just will convert this word position in a new position that uh, is the center of the nearest cell around this position. There is another way to, to place um, game objects over our cells, uh, which can be maybe more easy to understand. And it's just, uh, okay, let's say we have a world position from our ray casting, cursor, or, or whatever. So how do you know which cell is under that position? Well, just call, uh, let's say cell index is, is the index of the cell under certain position I am interested in. So let's call cell, cell get at position, and we pass our position, right? Now, we have the index of that cell. So what we want to get now is the center of that cell. So just call cell get position and pass cell index. Um, the second parameter is if we want to get the world space position of the local space. In this case, by default, it's true, which means it will return the world space position of the cell center, which is what we want. So we can lay, leave that uh, as it is by default. And that's it. We can now move the character to that center. 
which is uh, can be our character or a building or something I'm I'm placing placing over that cell, whatever. If we want to get the position from the currently highlighted cell, just uh, use um, TGS highlighted uh, cell highlighted index. This is the index of the currently highlighted cell. And that's it. Of course, if the index is mm, minus one, this means that uh, the user is currently not pointing over the grid, or the grid is disabled, or in any case, there is not any highlighted cell. So we can just early exit, and that's it, right? So that's it. The the difference between this way to compute the position of the cell and snap to cell is that uh, you, um, this method uh, assumes that uh, as the cell exists, whereas this method will snap the character to a world position, making sure that uh, this is the center of the virtual cell, I meaning that it you can pass a uh, a position which is in being outside of the current grid extends, right? So that's it. I hope uh, this uh, video is useful to you. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to contact us by mail or visit our support forum and uh, leave your question over there. Thank you very much.